Uh, hello people, welcome to the technical bench. Um, just as usual, I like introducing myself as Netizen Studios, because that is the name of this technical channel, right? I like showing my tools of trade, and as of now, one of them that I have, which I like most, is this one here, the screwdriver, okay? Um, of late, I'm getting people asking me to venture into other technical devices and the technical area, just as you might see in the channel that there are so many other videos I had done, maybe for product review, maybe for connection of technology with some department or some, you know, ministries and the like. And so, anyway, for today, our topic majors on uh, this device here. Just a part of the printer, Konica Minota, a printer which applies across digital printers um, um, from other companies different from Konica like the Rico like Coursera you know like Canon you know that this is a very important part of digital printers like this one here bro okay we call it the toner hopper okay we call it the toner hopper the toner hopper uh toner hopper is like the gearbox for the toner you know uh, uh, uh the toners like this one here it is an interconnection for the toners connects to the drum units like this one here this is a drum unit we have a, 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 a video a full video of a drum unit in our channel this one here we have uh, 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 the developer unit this one here this is an example of a developer unit here and this is the area where those devices happen to be the, the developer unit the toner uh, I mean the drum unit and then um, they are located here then you will find that they have a connection to the expansion board or to what we call the road board to listen technician wengi most of the technician utasikia wakiita the um, front, front board but when you go or if you get an error that needs or um, a technical definition of the board over here that connects the, the developer units, that connects the, to, I mean, the drum unit. Um, it is known as the, um, um, uh, the expansion board. Even this toner hopper has a connection there. Anyway, our topic is on the toner hopper. The toner hopper. It's normally mounted here, okay? Then it has connectors. Like for example, this when if I was to put this toner hopper here, one of the connectors it has is this one here. Aka nika connector, haka apa. Can I connect kwa hi, um, you know, interface. Interface yake iko hapa hivi. Then we have these connectors here. These connectors, these are connectors too. And, um, and um, they also have a terminal here. They terminate over here. This, that is their connectors is over here. Hapa is connectors. Bill is in a connect hapo. Because you can't just mount it here and then you expect it to work, right? It has to have connection to the machine that goes to the drive, mini drive, that goes to the motherboard, you know, that connects again to the expansion board. You know, we say that this is a digital printer. It is a computer system that is used for printing, all right? And um, we call a system, we define as it as a, 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 a unit, a device that has different 
you know, media that has different devices connecting together for a common goal or to achieve a common goal. So anyway, this is the toner hopper. And the toner hopper, it is where we insert our toners. Dikobali kwenye, toners is in Ingianga. Tunaingizanga toners. Tunaingiza toner hivi. Na muna hii, alafu, ikiingia hivo, ikifika mwisho you rotate. Tuna rotate hivi. Why do we rotate it? Sunejua sasa itakuwa kwa machine. It will be inside a machine like this. Why do we rotate? We normally rotate the toner or the uh, 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 this toner drum so that it opens this area. Do you fungu area hapa? So that it opens this area. E. Do you do exit your rangi? So that the toner powder can be able to spill. Uh, um, to spill and come to the toner to the toner hopper in which when you rotate what happens the toner hopper opens itafunguka utaona ikifunguka itafunguka namna hii alafu utaona kutakuwa na haka ka opening there is an opening here hii opening hapa imefunguka or it opens when you put the toner the, uh, the toner drum inside it so that as you print you know this is a toner that makes print out, right? So the toner here has to come to the toner hopper because the toner hopper is the one that regulates toner as it gets to the machine, as it gets to the, you know, as it comes down to the developer because the toner has to mix with the developer to produce an image aided by the drum unit. They work together. Those are units which work together together all right then you'll find that at the back of the toner or of the toners pale nyuma you'll get that there is a toner drive there is a drive a mechanism that drives the toners that helps in rotating the toners this machine works mostly aided or it is driven by the motors so there is that mechanism at the back which we call the toner drive all right just the same as you can see here the drive a drive comprises of motors and gears okay like for example this is the motor for the toner hopper okay in four series like 454 like 224 like 284 like 364 like 554 you'll find that in most cases the motor is one i like the zero series like c220 like c280 like c360 for technicians you will understand this it is a konica a minota printer colored c4 colored like 36 to 20 like 280 like 360 anyway just to use a bit of a technical language so you'll find that the motor they have different motors for those series zero series it has different motors for each color but for this Toner hopper for four series. The toner ho the, the 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 motor is one. He motor, and in most cases, if you find this toner hopper not working, the thing to look at is this motor, whether it is working or it has failed. Once this motor fails, the toner hopper will not work. Toner will not come to the unit, so it will not work, right? So the thing to check up is this motor. And change it or if you can open it inside maybe change the small uh, sensor here or the the small body here for it or open inside and maybe clean it then you can do but precisely if you don't want to do that you can just change it with a working one because it is the one which will fail this toner hopper so that it is it, it will not give toner where it is required at the developers so that when you are printing an image is produced also so that you can make a print out is our sour is it okay so if the toner hopper is not supplying toner it is not supplying the ink then one of the things to look is this one the, the motor here if it is working if it is rotating because it is the one that drives the hopper to produce the uh, 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 to, to give the toner that produces the images one of the other things that you can do is to check you can come here and open this 
Nona, if I open like this, it is spilling some tona. Rangi na mwagika, like yellow, like uh, manchenta, like uh, 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 cyan here, like uh, black here. Because the tona hopper has drums, it has spaces inside it that holds the tona. So, it has sometimes, even without putting this tona drum inside the tona hopper, you can find yourself printing. Because from inside here, there are spaces that holds toner waiting for you to print until it gets to a certain level so that it needs this one to refill it or to fill it again. So, one of the other things that you can check for when your toner hopper is not working, if it has a problem, maybe it is making noise, maybe there is a toner that is not uh, printing out, you make your print out and you find that, for example, a certain color is missing, Maybe a print out like this one here. You make a print out. Do I have a print out here, especially colored? You make a print out and you find that, for example, one of the colors here it is missing. Maybe you don't have a black color. Maybe my gender is missing. Maybe cyan is missing. One of the other things that you can check for is whether the toner is supplying, the toner hopper is supplying that, you know, ink or that toner uh, to the required area. And one of the things to check are these gears, whether the gears are moving. If the gears are moving well, without friction, if the motor here is working well, it is rotating well, it is not having a problem, then your toner hopper will be working. But at the time when there is a, a toner or there is a color which is missing, you can come and check these gears whether the gears are working well. Wakati, sometimes it gets clogged with the toner. So that gears zikitembea, when the gears are moving, zikitembea, zinapatana na iyo toner na zinashikana as zitembea. So that the gears stick together. Maybe because of some clogged ink here. So what you do, you can pour all the toner inside the color that is missing because we have, for example, we have here is for black, for cyan, for magenta, and for yellow. So the color that is missing, you can pour the toner inside here. Remove these gears, open this screw using your screwdriver. It's my easy screwdriver. Open these gears with your screwdriver. Then you pour the ink inside it. You can blow, you can use a blower to blow out the toner which is clogged from inside the from inside the gears so that the gears are free to move and when the gears are free to move return your toner hopper tighten it to the required area make the connectors fit well or connect well to the to the terminals because one of the other things that could be a miss is the terminals the connectors not connecting well, not terminating well to their connection place. Make sure that you wipe out all the toners or the dust from the connectors. Don't use your mouth like I'm doing. It is not healthy. Actually, I should be having a mask to protect me from getting the ink inside my nose or my respiratory system because it is hazardous, right? Ni risk. It is risky me atari uki inhale e ink so make sure that the connectors are terminating well they are connecting well to their terminals no loose connection and then you can be sure you can be assured that your toner hopper will work well you will not get an error message and your printout will not be mismatching or it will not have any issue and it will be having a good printer which is consistent. Another thing that you can check out is that this waste toner box, because we looked at the waste toner box, that it is not filled up. Because when it fills up, it will give you uh, error codes or start telling you that your toner hopper it needs to be like replaced or needs to be emptied.
emptied out. And then after emptying it out, make sure that you remove this one here because it is the sensor for the, uh, or it is the actuator for the uh, toner hopper, helps in sensing the toner hopper. Make sure you empty it out and if necessary, dip it in water after removing this plastic here. here dip it in some water, make sure that you dry it up completely to make sure that there is no toner inside. You can blow it, this one toner hopper, out to remove any waste toner and uh, you will be able now to eliminate that error or that message of your waste toner box is full and it needs to be replaced. And uh, you will find now that your toner hopper, this one, this gadget here, which is our topic of today, working correctly giving out a nice printout and your machine will be serviced out for this area and it will have a good printout thank you for following the video thank you for subscribing thank you for liking our video thank you for following it is the best favor that we may request of you to do in this channel to watch our videos to subscribe to follow to like to comment and we shall appreciate you so much for that favor. Otherwise, hope you have been assistant. Shalom.